Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 8. We're halfway through the season. Now, I do not know what to expect from this episode. Historically, Episode 8 in the last few seasons have been quite big episodes, to say the least. And considering the barrier just fell down in Alexandria at the end of the last episode, I feel like this is one of those episodes that I need to be prepared for. And I'm not, but that's kind of the fun of it. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage we're about to see does not belong to me. It belongs to AMC. But without further ado, episode eight, lights, camera, action. you got an infestation in your house but why oh that's disgusting why did it show us him taking out one plate to the top of the stairs for his mum to collect or whatever and yet he still has another plate in his room that's um slightly contaminated being isolated alone in your room while drawing cartoons um, reminds me of Chris Chan. <gasps> I discovered him recently. Oh my days, my brain will never be the same. Everybody get ready, we ain't got no time for no prayer circles. We gotta get to work. <laughs> oh Maggie, you need to be really careful. Maybe sit this one out. Maggie! Ooh. Oh. oh my god! It makes so much sense for Maggie to die this episode. Herschel died in episode 8 of ep on season 4. Beth died in episode 8 of season 5. And now this is episode 8 of season 6. There's a pattern forming and I'm not happy about it. Eugene, why so fucking useless? Well done, Jesse. You're earning my respect, girl. Not that you never didn't have my respect, but I'm starting to really appreciate you as a character a little bit. Walkers are flooding into the east wall. That means at the west wall, we we'll are first to clear up. That's, that's how we get in. Wait, why are they still so close? Those balloons went up well far away. We're still here. Our friends are in there. People who care about you. My pregnant wife. You just want to run away? Be afraid? Forget about this? How does Glenn know that Maggie's pregnant? I think I forget. I didn't know Glenn was aware that Maggie was pregnant. See, a big issue that I'm having with season six, which I've not done with previous seasons, is that I'm watching a load of episodes before editing them one at a time as they go along. So sometimes I get a bit confused about what happened when. You don't trust anybody, do you? Some more than others. <laughs> but you're dead last. Hey, it's probably a concussion. You should sit down before you fall down. I am okay. Carol, whatever we have to settle, it can wait. It has to. 
Wait, is Cavill too injured to partake in this battle? I thought everything was going to be alright because Carol will just sort everything out like she usually does. But if she's not even going to participate, God knows what's going to happen. He's coming back. Do you think he's coming back? <laughs> we can talk, right? Oh my God, why is Denise stuck with this bastard? He's going to try to kill her. What about you? What about me? After the things you've done, you belong here? Yes. Do you, die, babes? He said he wouldn't let you go until he was sure you wouldn't kill again. Some people don't want to be rehabilitated. Show me the wound. Maybe Denise is going to extract all the information I need out of this man. Or maybe he's just going to murder Denise. Oh! How is she? No offense to Michelle, but whatever she's doing hurts like a son of a bitch. Oh my god, has she been nibbled on? Ah, oh, bitch, got nibbled on. Your time is over. Well... Shit. Do you know what? I thought she was going to turn quite evil at some point, because they all do, don't they? They all fucking turn evil in the end. But she didn't. She was a bit intense. She was a bit savage towards her own children. But... She never turned on us. The Latin in the margins, what was that? Huh. It was something Reg used to say when things went really, really badly. Working with my family towards a better future is, is all I ever wanted. That's what I got. Oh. I got to do what I wanted. Right up to the end. Oh, bless you. I wish I weren't so reserved on there now. Enid's dead. We're all dead. Look, my dad's gonna figure something out. Your dad's just gonna get more people killed. Because that's what he does. That's who he is. Oh, dear. Your dad's a killer. So is yours. Oh, touche. You're dead. You're dead too. Mate, you've so underestimated Carl, though. your dad but you need to know something your dad was an asshole it is so intense Diana yes, show me. I wanted to see her one last time okay. I thought I could make it from now on someone needs to be with you yeah, Spencer. For Spencer. For Maggie. I'll make sure they get him. 
Will you look out for him? Why don't you bring him here? He's your kid. I didn't run over to help you out there because I like you. I ran over to help because you are one of us. That's the right answer. And you should just tell her whatever she wants to hear on her last bloody moments of life. Even if you're lying. Do you think this place is over? No? I think we gotta earn it, all of us. A place like this has gotta have a price, right? We haven't paid it already. Apparently not. Yeah, don't give up on this place. This is the most comfortable place we've found this whole entire time. I would be fuming at the walkers. I'll be like, listen, this is personal. You come into my space, I do not plan on leaving anytime soon. You all right? Just resting my eyes. Carol? What do you mean, Carol? She was literally just there, half asleep. You're incapacitated. You can't fight like the gangster that you is. Get the hell away from him. He's tied up. He's I said get away from him. Of all the things you could be doing, Carol, you have to come here. Oh dear. We're gonna gut these things. Cover ourselves with the insides. It'll mask our smell, make them think we're like them. I've done it before. Yeah, it's gross, but it is effective. <laughs> I feel you, Gabe. I feel you. Oh, mate, couldn't you just left it for my imagination? With life, this possibility. Even if we never let him out. I'd get out. Even if we never let him out, <laughs> he could know what he's done. He can't. I won't let you. Guys, I like you both. So I do not like you going against each other. That's not going to end well for me regardless. What's happening out there? They're getting in. If you want me to, I'll... Well. Not ready. I was going to say, just kill her off quick. Because she's got to go anyway. But apparently she ain't ready. I'll do it myself. It's my life. Yeah, you have to respect her wishes. Okay. Start to finish. Someday this pain will be useful to you. Go. They need you. Thank you. For what? Everything, really. For believing. What do you want? Now you figure it out. Give them hell. You need to listen to me, okay? We aren't safe here anymore. Okay, we need to do this so that we can be safe out there. We need to look like the monsters. Just make it all pretend. Okay, none of this is real and you're somebody who isn't afraid. Come on, Sam. Fake it till you make it. You should kill me. But you're all going to die. You don't belong here. Step aside. I'm not asking you again. Oh!
You said they were already dead. You said I was. You don't need to kill us. Denise. Just let us die. No, babe. Just let us die. You are so full of shit. <laughs> Tara. I feel like we might need to open a new position for Doctor. We're not going to make it out there. We'll see. I knew Denise had got too much screen time. I can't believe you just let her get kidnapped. You all have guns. Talking of being kidnapped and giving away guns and stuff, Davil, he seems to be missing all the action. There she is, Glenn. Jump over that motherfucking fence and save your wife. Go on, girl. Take some down with you. Oh my god, this is so strange. I do not think we're going to be able to evacuate um, Alexandria. We might need to go. Shoo, stop, stop talking. Walkers don't talk, mate. Alright, so that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, we need to give a moment to um, say our respects to Diana, who was like the matriarch of Alexandria. And with her falling, that kind of symbolises Alexandria falling. And I'm just assuming, because obviously I don't know, that we're going to have to leave this place now because it is totally overrun. So the end of her marked the end of Alexandria. But I don't know because we still need to get out. We've got some people that are disguised as walkers making their way somewhere. We have a kidnapped doctor. We have Morgan and Carol that are passed out on the floor. We've got Tara, Rosita and Eugene who have no idea really what is going on. We've got Maggie on her own, Glenn and Enid trying to get to her. And Daryl is nowhere to be seen. And this is kind of different from a normal episode 8, because usually we have some kind of conclusion. Usually what I've found so far in the format of this show is in a season of 16 episodes, you get your first half of the season, which is a certain storyline, and the second half of the season, which is a different storyline. And episode 8 usually marks the end of a particular storyline, whether it be the governor, whether it be the police at the hospital. But in this one, we haven't actually reached a conclusion yet. We've left it on a cliffhanger. We haven't left Alexandria. The walkers are still very much in our vicinity. We've still got a lot to do to try and ensure our temporary survival. And I'm so here for it to find out how they're going to do it. So if you want to be here for it while I'm here for it and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. And down in the comment section, somebody leave me the number for a bulldozing company because I know a few people that might need it. <laughs> and until next time, stay safe out there.